So Trump did this awesome interview with Dr. Phil. By the way, he's done two now, and both of them were fantastic. They were absolutely fantastic. So um, let's go. I, I just want you guys to hear this clip. because They're talking about his assassination, how it was a miracle that he survived it. Is there a reason you think you were spared? I mean, the only thing I can think is that God loves our country and he thinks we're going to bring our country back. It has to be God. I mean, how can you say it's luck when it's, you know, 20 million to one? It's the only position where that bullet could have missed. And you believe in God? I do, I do. You believe God's hand was in this that day? I believe so, yeah, I do. And you talk about the country. You believe you have more to do. You weren't done. You were spared for a reason. Well, God believes that. I guess uh, we'll have to see. Number one, I'm in an election with a very vicious group of people. And if I win that, that would really serve to say that it, there's some incredible power up there that wanted me to be involved. And maybe it's more than saving the nation. Maybe it's saving the world. Listen, I, you guys know I'm a man of faith. All right. And as a man of faith, I know that it's it's completely like that is completely God that saved him. OK, I mean, this it just it's unbelievable how he turned at the exact right moment. OK, and that we've I, I've gone over it. I'm not going to revisit it. You guys know how I feel about that. But I'll tell you right now that like um, there's there's divine protection here. OK, and whatever you guys think about God, whatever, what happened with Trump, I, I really honestly don't care. I know exactly what I feel and I know why. But this man, it, when you factor that in, and I always do because I can't not factor it in, and I see like how they've been trying to take him out through the lawfare, but you put all that in and how he just kept getting more popular despite it. You put in, they try to kill him, and he survives on a miracle turn. And there's, it's not coincidence. Coincidence, that's not a thing, guys. It's just not a thing. There's no such thing as coincidence. There's no such thing as luck. Um, so he turns on that and is saved. And I'm telling you, it's like this year with everything going on, Kennedy joining him, there comes a point where you just have to see signs. Okay? You just have to see divine signs. And the divine signs are all pointing that Trump is... He's absolutely like, this is a God thing. This is a mission from God. And he's, he's here to change America, get us back on track, to save us from communism. I mean, that's it. That's it. Nothing else, like, nothing else makes sense. My point is, is like, at some point, it all builds up. It all builds up and you can't ignore it anymore. Like, when God's speaking, he's speaking. And when he saves a man from assassination attempt brings over all the free thinkers from the other side and building this unity ticket when when the tide is turning with the entire nation i mean you just can't like i i don't know about you guys but i can't look past all that stuff i just can't that's like telling me to ignore uh everything falling into place and still trying to believe that this isn't going to work out some way i i just can't do that my mind works with like math. Okay. I, I'm a logical thinker. I research and I, I put stuff together. That's how my mind works. And I can't hold on to something if there's no evidence for it. I just can't. And I've lived my whole life like that. But it's also why when I do find something and I have great conviction on something, I stick with it because I have to be convinced otherwise with evidence. I can't have people just coming in and being like, oh, this. And I'm like, dude, that's so disproven. Like, all that makes me do is make me lose respect for you. Um, I, I just can't come to that side unless you have a case. You can't just throw darts out there and it'll stick for me. It doesn't work. I, I just can't do that. And so I'm doing the math here. And I show you guys all the data and I'll tell you right now, I mean, like,
Like when I show you guys all this stuff, okay, I'm showing you all the data and I just showed you tonight why like this 1.7 point average lead is a loss. Okay, I've shown you the data. We've gone through it all. That's me showing you the evidence. But the evidence for me is, is shoring up the conviction I already have, which is that there's something major coming for our country and it's coming with Trump as the figurehead of it. And he's bringing in all these other great leaders to change our country, get it back on track. And I'll tell you guys, like when I got that word from the Lord back in 2016, that Trump would be president and he'd lead us into a golden age. Well, that you guys know, I was not even close to thinking that way in the first place. And that came true. Well, the second part didn't come true yet, which is the golden age part. And that's coming now. And, you know, I wasn't going to share this, but I was praying the other day and this doesn't happen to me all the time. And so that's why I don't always share it. And I just, this is not my faith channel. This is, you know, I do talk about faith stuff, but don't always go there. But, um, the faith aspect part is this, is that I was praying the other day and I felt very clearly that like, listen, this God's like Trump's winning this election. I felt very strongly. And the words I heard was it's 2016 all over again. That's what I heard. And you know, one thing about when you hear something from God, sometimes it can be you. And so you have to filter it and say, like, would I have thought that? Would that have come from me? And and you have to ask yourself, because, you know, we all have imaginations and stuff. But I've been a Christian since I was 12 years old. All right. That was the first time I had an encounter with God. It changed my life. Um, I've been walking this road of getting closer to him, learning about him, all that stuff. And I've learned that sometimes you hear something and it can't come from anywhere and you're like, oh, that's kind of how you know it was God. And that's where, to me, I believe. And then what I do with that is I take it and I take what I hear. And I say, all right, if this is true, there's going to be evidence behind it. There's going to be signs. And <laughs> the signs, guys, the signs for Trump this election that there's something changing for our future in the right way are everywhere. They are everywhere. And if you, I mean, another, you want another sign? How about the fact that Kamala is the first uh, candidate, at least in the last 50 or so years, who did not get a pull bounce from her convention? That's another sign right there. I, I just, the signs are everywhere. And to me, I can't ignore them because I already got what I feel like was a word. And then on top of that, everything points to it being true. So that's, that's, if you guys want to know the truth, that's why I have crazy, crazy conviction. And that's why we're partying, <laughs> we're partying on election night. <laughs> and because I, I'm telling you, it, it's going to be good. It's all, there's so many signs that it's going our way. And the one thing, there's only one thing people say, uh, to that, that's still, they're afraid of. Okay. One thing, and that's that it'll be stolen. And I get it. I totally get it. Especially after 2020, I get the fear. I do. But at some point, guys, you have to, you have to look at even the broader evidence. Argentina was totally corrupt and crooked and those people were impoverished and the government had all the power and somehow Javier Malay came in. All right. Uh, El Salvador, same thing. It, it does happen where no matter how powerful and we're the United States of America where they don't have that power yet. They don't have that. We can get 95% for our dictator yet. That is not there yet. We just look at how much they haven't been able to do. The Supreme Court has shut down stuff and they've had to honor it. Uh, the Republicans won the House in 2022. I mean, it. they don't have that power yet. If Kamala gets in, my fear is they will have that power in the next four years. But this time, they don't have that power yet. They are weaker than you think. Even though it is, they're big and scary, and they've pulled off stuff before, 
But guys, it's so much more difficult this time. It's so much more difficult this time. You, you just, you have to look at the facts and you have to look at the evidence. And the evidence says this one is going to be too big to rig. And, and that's what the evidence says. But it could be wrong. And I and there could, like I said, there's always stuff you don't see. But I just can't. That Kennedy mm -hmm. thing was so big, man. I can't even tell you. Even for me, it was just like, oh, my God. he's, It's all coming together. It really is. I could see a couple things happening. Um, a, Trump wins big election night. And it's so big they have to call it. I actually think that's the most likely scenario. But what will happen after that is three and a half months of hell where they try to say he stole the election or they, the Republicans cheated and they try to withhold him from taking office. That's going to be the fight. The other thing is, and I think this is a very small possibility. The other one is that uh, it's rigged election night and then a major exposure comes in and uh, it ends up somehow that election gets overturned. I could also see that happening. The worst option is obviously they rig it. They just smoothly get in all that. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. My heart, like ask your guys this, like your hearts in this. Okay. Do you honestly, like, is there anything within you that can absolutely even begin to feel like you could even fathom living under Kamala and Waltz? I just can't. There's, it doesn't even exist for me. Biden, I could see it. I didn't want to believe it, but Biden's been around a long time and it just, it was like, oh yeah, I could see how, you know, um, and he was pulling much further ahead. We're talking eight, nine points at, at parts. That made sense. It was like, you know, I think Trump's got this, but there was a part of me that could see it. It was like, and I could feel it. I could be like, ah, oh, it's going to suck if he gets in. But, but I mean, look at, the difference here, guys. Biden was up seven points at, on this date. Clinton up six. Harris's lead is 1.7 on average. That's a massive difference. So, you know, and I, I say that because I feel like for the most part, unless you're completely just off in Looney Tune your own world, like we have a sense oftentimes of what can happen or what's possible. And I can't even fathom, like, it, it, the possibility of a Kamala presidency. I can't. 